Xbox Game Pass Core is here, but should you buy it? Should you use it? Is it a good thing? Let's dive in. Earlier this year, Microsoft said goodbye to Xbox Live Gold and hello to Xbox Game Pass Core. And starting today, or realistically, whenever you're watching this, it is now available. Now, what is Xbox Game Pass Core? Effectively, it's kind of like your Xbox Live Gold, but you're minusing some features and adding others. So what Microsoft is really doing is they're kind of rebranding Xbox Live Gold, which let's be honest, was a legacy name and Microsoft is all in on Game Pass. So Game Pass Core effectively replaces it. You're gonna get all the same functionality for the most part and a little bit more. So what you get is your online play capability and what Microsoft is really announcing this week are the titles that you'll also be able to play. Now, this isn't a quite full Game Pass experience because you don't get access to every single game. Microsoft has a curated list of titles that you can now play with Xbox Game Pass Core, which you can see here up on the screen. And Microsoft notes later like, hey, we are probably gonna update this two to three times a year. And I can already tell you, don't expect the latest and greatest titles to be landing in this list, right? It's just a curated list. At the time of recording, Starfield is all the hotness. And guess what game is not in this curated list? Yeah, it's hot, it's Starfield. Like that's just the way Microsoft is gonna do it. They're gonna keep it to this limited list and they'll update it as they see fit. And so Xbox Game Pass Core is gonna cost you $9.99 dues every single month for as long as you keep paying for it. I'm sure there will be deals, various ways to get into it and upgrades and everything else. But there are multiple tiers of Game Pass. Now, one of these is what I'm gonna refer to as a garbage tier and you probably shouldn't buy it. Uh, so let's just kind of walk through this. So you got Xbox Game Pass Core, $9.99 a month. You get online multiplayer and that curated catalog of 25 high quality titles as Microsoft likes to call them. Although actually in that list that they just announced, there's 36, so they're already over exceeding what they promised. They're just that good. Although games with gold and some other things are going away. So just kind of keep that in mind. Um, and then member deals and discounts, so your basic whatever stuff. And then there's the console tier. So this is the full catalog of Xbox Game Pass titles, but there is no online play. And then there's also those member deals and everything else and new games on day one. So the big difference between core and console is that on core, you can play online, but you only get 36 or 25 games, however Microsoft's feeling at that particular time. And on console, you get all the games on day one. So like Starfield would actually be a great way to play this because you don't need to worry about online play. And then there's the PC side of it, which is pretty self-explanatory. If you're on the PC, then you're gonna be picking up the PC. That's just kind of the way that it is. And then ultimate is the one that is the, the value deal. So if you're looking at like good, better, best, that's kind of the way that Microsoft is doing that. Ultimate includes all titles for Game Pass on day one. It includes online multiplayer. It includes all the deals and perks. It also includes EA Play membership for as long as that continues on and everything else that all the other tiers offer. So ultimate is obviously the ultimate. The one that I'm telling you, you probably shouldn't buy, for 99% of people who are listening to this, they should, the console is the garbage tier. Like it really is. First off, it's a dollar more expensive than core, but most people in some capacity are gonna wanna play a game online, just some way, like Fall Guys, it doesn't matter, some sort of multiplayer at some point. And if you are in console, nope, you're instantly already saying, well, ultimate makes the most sense. Core is is okay. I actually think core is perfectly fine for people who just want a, the gold experience that continue to buy their games. If you love holding your disc box, core is probably for you, most likely because it gives you that online console multiplayer that most people want. Because there are very real people out there, and I'm honestly, up until Game Pass came out, I was pretty close to being one of them, who are only playing Call of Duty, which is perfectly fine, perfectly fine. And core is the right tier for you. You don't need all that other stuff. If you're never gonna play those other titles, grab core. For the vast majority of people, and Microsoft has done this intentionally, Ultimate makes the most sense. That is actually the tier that I'm in because you get all the games on Game Pass, which mind you, although it hasn't closed yet, it probably will depending on when you listen to this, uh, especially if it's in a year from now or whenever this surfaces up through the SEO magical goodness. Uh, Microsoft has not closed its Activision deal, but Call of Duty will eventually be in there and then it makes even more sense for somebody like me. However, I think for most people, you get access to great titles like Starfield, you get Forza, you get Age of Empires 2, you get all that stuff and it's only 17 bones a month. 
And realistically, you may not have to ever buy another game. Yeah, you're going to miss out on some titles. That is for sure. That is for sure. But you're going to get a lot of good ones. And if you're just okay with like being like, hey, I'll just, you know, whatever. If it's not in Game Pass, I'm not going to play it. You will have a great experience at $17 a month. And of course, buying more up front, uh, depending on the deals that Microsoft is offering, that can sway uh, either direction. So just kind of keep that in mind. But when we're, we're heading towards this holiday shopping season where I think the Xbox Series S will continue to sell well, and I also think the Series X will continue to do well. I think we're going to see a lot of Starfield hype. We've got Forza and everything else happening. And so a lot of people are going to be trying to decide what tier should they be picking up and I think Ultimate is it. Realistically, if you're a parent listening to this, uh, welcome to the club. I mean, I'm a parent as well. Buy a console, slap Ultimate on there, and don't buy another game. And that is all you need. That is that is it. That is Christmas solved right there. They will get tons of great games, and it'll be right out of the box, and you won't have to pay anything else. So this is the lineup that Microsoft's going with. I will be curious to see if they ever simplify this into just a core and ultimate experience um, and just kind of get rid of that console option at some point. Microsoft doesn't want to remove that skew because, hey, there will be people out there who somehow and for some reason end up with a core and a console subscription. Of course, I wonder the technicality if that's like even possible to link that to your account, right? Like having multiple there because Microsoft doesn't currently offer a family pass, which they teetered with for a long time. But keep in mind that Microsoft eventually pulled the family pass. It was currently not available. And if you're looking for multiple subscriptions on the same account, good luck. Uh, Microsoft is like, hmm, you can just pay more us, pay us more money, and hopefully that is just perfectly fine and dandy with you. Uh, I know for most people, you are going to be wanting that five pack that Microsoft is offering, but anyways, so here you go. PC is pretty much the standout uh, where it's super simple, but really on console, you've got core console and ultimate. And the problem I see with Microsoft's naming right here is somebody and it will be a non-zero amount of people are going to say, I don't know when to get, okay, it's called console. I'm just going to get console. And then they're going to get really frustrated when they go try to play online. Like I have Xbox game pass console. I have a console. Why can't I play it? Um, but yeah, you know, I'm, I don't make the rules. I just enforce uh, what Microsoft throws out into the universe and kind of just bring it to everybody's attention. Anyways, there you go. Uh, console is the garbage tier. Pick up core or ultimate. I think that is going to be your best path forward um, as Microsoft continues to go forward here. I think what Microsoft could potentially do well, it would be interesting to see how much they're going to bundle uh, for their holiday shopping season, right? Microsoft loves these sort of bundles to see if we find any deals where it's like Series X with X number of months uh, of uh, probably core or maybe ultimate we will find out microsoft's gaming strategy is really coming into uh, the holiday shopping season here we'll have to see how they bundle everything what kind of deals they are offering so as always my friends make sure to keep it subscribed here because only bs on this channel is me